matter of fact, uh, for the remaining of uh, this chapter, we're going to focus on vectors in R3 in three dimension. Uh, but the w one, remember when we had the point A, B, well, we didn't talk about it, but um, uh, uh, you can you can uh, you can draw conclusion from from the three D from the R three uh, example. All right, so let's say that um, given two points in space, in given points in R three, let's say A that has coordinate. Uh, x1, y1, z1, and uh, b that has coordinate x2, y2, z2, okay, uh, then the vector, let's say v equals the vector ab from a to b, is given by And we can write V is, um, if we use this notation, it would be the difference in the X uh, values in the X coordinate. So it will be um, the quantity X2 minus X1. And then the Y component, of course, will be Y2 minus Y1. And the Z component will be Z2 minus Z1. Okay. Uh, we can write it in this notation, or if we write uh, in IJK notation, we can write it as x2 minus x1 in parentheses times i uh, plus y2 minus y1 times j plus uh, z2 minus z1 times k. The convenience of this second notation is that you write it as almost, uh, not almost, you write it uh, is an algebraic sum because you add vectors in three different directions, right? And that gives you the uh, the, the the vector itself. Um, I think we are good for an example. All right, somebody remind me to undo the split. No, maybe somebody is still writing. I see at least one person who is still writing. So uh, here's the first example. Um, find a vector. Uh, connecting. Thank you. Connecting the points, and one point will be, let's say, 2, negative 3, and 4, and the other is negative 2, 5, and 7. and determine its magnitude. Thank you. So we didn't talk about magnitude of a vector, but uh, so that, that would be an opportunity to introduce the magnitude of a vector. Okay. So the solution. <coughs> We're going to let a vector, in this case a, a v, be, if we use the uh, ijk notation, then vector v would be, if if we let the first point to, to be, uh, let's say, x1, y1, z1, and the second point be x2, y2, z2, then we're going to subtract. So we have negative 2 minus 2 times i, and then plus, uh, we have 5 minus negative 3 times j plus 7 minus 4 k 
and bring it home. So we have negative 4i uh, plus 8j plus 3k. That's our vector. Okay. I'm, I'm going to soon drop the error above the ijk because we are not going to use ijk in any other context. So our ijk is going to be our standard unit vectors. Okay. Or we can write it as uh, with the triangle notation, we can write a v equals negative 4, comma 8, comma 3. Uh, what is the magnitude? Okay, magnitude of vector. The general magnitude given a vector um, v equal, let's say, a i plus b j plus c k, then uh, the, uh, the magnitude of a v denoted by And I'll use this notation. As I said, the book does not, uh, the, the book drop, well, well, the book used bold uh, instead of error anyway, uh, is given by, so we're going to write V like so. It will be the square root of uh, A squared plus B squared plus a C squared, like so. So this is the general form. Now, how we how we obtain this result? If you um, if you look at the definition of the distance formula from last class, you can see that this is exactly what we have. Uh, the magnitude is the distance between the initial point and the final point, and A, B, C uh, give you the different component, the different distance component. So A will be the difference between X2 and X1, B the difference between uh, Y2 and Y1, and so on. So uh, it's nothing but the distance formula. So in our case, going back to the, uh, uh, the problem, so in this case, we have the magnitude of vector V will be the square root of um, so it will be negative 4 squared plus 8 squared plus um, 3 squared, like so. So we are looking at uh, 16 and 64, right? So that's 80 and 3, 89. I think 89 is a prior number, so there is no, no way to simplify it. So this is the magnitude of the vector.